okay hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always coming around today we are going to be making biryani okay we need rice we need salt we need maggi cubes we need curry powder chopped two chopped big potatoes two big tomatoes we need black lemon this is lemon that has been uh, dried yeah cooked and dried that's why it's black we have uh, we need the cinnamon sticks and hail turmeric powder we need some oil some one big chopped onions chopped it into big pieces and tomatoes we already mentioned that potatoes we have we need ginger and garlic and we jump into the process of cooking we need a pot of course here we go you put some oil heat up some oil in the pan okay add up your onions your ginger and garlic and you stir it okay ginger and garlic you stir it uh just be watching the video as we're adding the ingredients we add the ingredients little by little Briani is a um, local dish, mostly prepared in in the Arab countries, Southern Arabia, Dubai, Kuwait, Bahrain. Each and every country have their own way of preparing the biryani. This is my own way of preparing it here in Kuwait. Some people may add more spicy, some people may add less, but this is how we do it here in Kuwait, okay? so i hope you like the video if you love the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel because i will bring you more videos like this on this channel please subscribe please please i'm begging you when you subscribe please put on the post notification bell put it on so that when any time i upload a video you will be the first person to watch it thank you and please, you can suggest any food that you want me to make for you. You can give me a suggestion in the comment section below and I will gladly do it. Now I've added all my ingredients, my garlic, my ginger, my tomatoes, my potatoes, my turmeric powder, my curly powder, curry powder, my black lemon, my hair. And now I add it in my chicken. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my chicken until it gets ready. I am not going to put water. So my chicken will be cooked only in oil until it gets ready. You see right now we still have a lot of water. By the time my chicken is ready, I will have no water left. I will have only oil. It can be cooked. It can be on the fire like this on low heat. You have to put it on low heat because there's no water inside. If you keep it on high heat, it's going to get burned. Like for an hour, my chicken will be ready. Okay. You stir your chicken every minute. You need to open, open the pot. You stir your chicken. My chicken is very, very much ready after an hour. You see, when your chicken is ready, there will be no water. I was saying there will be no water. All you can, you can see inside now is oil. And my chicken has been cooking for like an hour. It is definitely ready now. You take out your cinnamon stick. You take out the the black lemon. You take it out. You can throw it if you want. Now, when my chicken was on the fire, I soak my rice. I soak my rice for 30 minutes. Why do I soak my rice in water for 30 minutes? Because I want my rice to be long in be in long long grains when i cook it and you should be it should be it should not be clotted with each other it should be in grains my grains of rice should be long for the rice i am going to put a pot on the fire we put in some oil enough oil that is okay. oil. cinnamon stick i add some hail some five hails an onion okay when all this food is ready i need to take out all these things and throw them 
I just need to give it a flavor. To put in some onion. To give some flavor to your rice. Okay. Now, the same bowl I used to measure my rice, I'm going to measure two bowls of water. Okay. If you want to, 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 to achieve those long grains of rice, two cups. The same cup where you measure your rice. If it's two cups, two cups, two cups, you need four cups of water. If it's two cups, you need if it's one cup, you need one cup, two cups of water. If it's two cups, you need four cups of water to boil the rice. You add your salt into the, the water and let it boil. Okay, after 30 minutes now, I am going to drain the rice, the water from my rice. When the water is this water is boiling, I am going to put my rice into the water and cover it when it starts boiling. Hmm? When it starts boiling, I'm going to put it on low heat and cover it with a plastic bag. You can use um, aluminium foil if you have. But me, I prefer to use a plastic bag because it will cover it right down. You can use aluminium foil. You put it on low heat for like five minutes. After you see, you have this. My rice is very long. The grains are very, very long. After five minutes, you cover it again and leave your rice on the out of the. You put it off now and let it sit for five minutes before you serve it. This is our chicken. This is the bowl where I'm going to make my biryani. I remove the cinnamon sticks. I remove the hail. I throw it away. It has already given me the flavor I needed. I hope someone loves this because uh, this food is delicious. You see my rice? It is one one. Eh? And the grains are very long. If you want to achieve this, you have to soak your water. Your rice, sorry. For 30 minutes. And you boil it using the method I, ju method I just I did now. I put some food coloring. What you will do is to make the biryani. You divide your rice into two Ooh. sections. You put the first layer. Put the food coloring. Optional. If you want, do want to put food coloring, it's okay. I put my food coloring and I put my chicken on top of the first layer of rice. Okay. After I have put my chicken now, I the second layer, the rice that I divided and put in a separate pot, I put now the rice on top of the chicken. Which means there's rice under, there's chicken in the middle and there's rice on top of it. That's how Brian it's been done. Okay. Now I put the second layer of rice. I love, love my rice. You can use any kind of rice, depending on you. you need to, if you want to achieve what I just achieved now, you need to follow the, 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 the order. Okay. At the top now, to give it some beauty, I added food coloring. Some people add uh, uh, parsley on top of it. No, not everybody likes it. So I'm not going to add anything. But when I want to serve the food, I just need to put lemon. Okay. Hey. In, in round shapes and put it on top of it, and that, that's it okay your biryani is ready to be served served with water with pepsi with miranda with anything that you want to eat with it okay so please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for always coming around thank you for supporting me please you, you are doing me a huge favor by watching my channel my videos liking them and sharing them please god bless you i hope you will try this and tell me how your own went and let me know in the comment sections what food you want me to make thank you very much assalamu alaikum